Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here today. We are gonna look at how magicians think, misdirection, deception, and why magic matters from Joshua J. I picked this up at amazon.com for 14 bucks. And uh, I gotta say, uh, if you're new to this channel, typically what I do is I review magic tricks, I review playing cards, and uh, I do giveaways. Every single month, I give away magic tricks, I give away playing cards, and I also review magic books. Now, I admit, at the very beginning of this video, I said this was a magic book review. It's not. I, I, I lied. This, this book doesn't teach any magic, nor does this book have really magic theory. In fact, if you read the title, it says How Magicians Think. So this is a book written by a magician to explain to anyone what goes on inside a magician's head. Which means if you're a magician already, or let's say you're even the spouse or the child of a magician, you might already know the answer <laughs> to how magicians think. Uh, but I wanna show you just how beautifully laid out and how great the graphics are. Check out these uh, contents right here. You're gonna have 52 very short, very readable essays, all right? This is a perfect book for taking with you to the airport or the doctor's office or to the beach. Uh, the chapters in this, they are only a few pages long and you've got these bright graphics that are on the other side. Uh, Jay is gonna describe how he does it, right? He's gonna talk about uh, making illusions. He's gonna talk about the psychology behind them. He's gonna talk about the way technology influences the world of magic. He's gonna talk about aesthetics and performance. He's gonna discuss uh, contemporary master magicians like David Copperfield and Penn and & Teller and David Blaine and all the details about how magicians hone their craft. He's also gonna have uh, answers to questions like can a magic trick be too good and how do you saw a person in half and is there real magic in the universe? And my absolute favorite chapter was Harry Houdini the greatest magician ever? What do you think? How would you answer that question? Do you think Harry Houdini was the greatest magician ever? That'd be an interesting uh, question even for us to discuss. You can put your answer and explanation down below. Um, let me just read to you some of these chapter titles so you can get an understanding, right, of what we mean by the title, How Magicians Think. Uh, we talk about when did you know magic would be your life? What is magic? What does it feel like to perform magic? How do you saw someone in half? Why don't magicians repeat their tricks? Uh, what happens if magicians do reveal their secrets? How do you create magic? Are we fooled? Uh, who are your favorite magicians? And he's gonna talk about uh, Richard Turner and Renee Lavand and Jerry Andrus. And he's gonna talk about what, uh, how do you answer that question? What do you do for a living? Uh, how often do magicians practice? Why is magic still so male dominated? Why isn't Harry Houdini considered the greatest magician ever? Uh, how do you build a magic show? How do magicians use technology? How are you using technology? What role do words play in magic? Who are your favorite magicians? He'll talk about Ricky Jay and Simon Aronson, Jeff McBride, Darren Brown. Uh, do magicians get fooled? Why do some people hate magic? Who is the hardest audience to fool? What's your most difficult trick? Uh, could you cheat at cards? What makes David Copperfield so iconic? Is magic art? What's the weirdest show you've ever done? What do you think about when you perform? And what about uh, what do you think about right before you go on stage? How did Houdini die? What's worse, screwing up a trick or dealing with hecklers? Why aren't there more black magicians? Does magic look different in other countries? Uh, what makes Penn and Teller so dynamic? What's your favorite magic trick? Why do ma what do magicians do in secret? Do you have magic students? What is the magic castle? Who are your favorite magicians part three? <laughs> You'll talk about David Williamson and Tommy Wonder. Uh, but do you have a very favorite magician? Is David Blaine for real? Can a magic trick be too good? What are the Magic Olympics? Uh, why do magicians pull rabbits out of hats? Is magic memorabilia valuable? Uh, why do magicians have such big egos? Is there real magic in the universe? And what's the next best thing in magic? So that just gives you a little sample of what these chapters are like. And like I said, they're all super short. Each one of these chapters is so bite-sized. And uh, 
I, I don't know if uh, Joshua J is already doing this or their publisher is already doing this, but I would just, this is just for uh, Joshua right now and, and his publisher, okay? You guys need to be marketing this at the airport. This needs to be in airports, in the bookstores, in the front, because this is the perfect book for the airport. Because you know, you don't wanna get too involved in a chapter because you're kinda waiting for your flight, you're gonna have to fold it up real fast and get in line to get on the plane. This is perfect because all the chapters are bite size and uh, it's a great for the for the plane also because again we're being interrupted by the stewardess and the announcements and you know the guy next to you is trying to get up out of his seat and move. These chapters are so short that you can easily stop anywhere and keep going. You can even skip chapters that you don't necessarily feel like you want to read because they don't. It doesn't. It's not a story. It doesn't go all together. So you could read these chapters out of order if you wanted to. Also great for the beach. Great for the doctor's office. Great for vacation. I think. This book is for anyone, okay? Not magicians. Because some, I think magicians, especially if you've been in magic for a while, you know how magicians think. Maybe you wanna get a peek behind uh, Joshua J's brain and you wanna see how Joshua J thinks. And I, I think a lot of this book is definitely personal. You know, this is kind of like an autobiography in, uh, in sorts about how Joshua J thinks, but this would be great uh, to give to a magician's spouse or to their kids or to their grandkids. Like, you wanna know how grandpa thinks? This is how grandpa thinks. <laughs> or anyone who's ever wondered, right? What do magicians think about? How do they come up with their tricks? This is the book that takes you backstage and gives you the answer to all those questions. So I'm gonna say right off, if you're not a magician, this book is for you, all right? If you are not a magician, I think you'll like this book, especially if you like magic. If you like magic, you like that world, you're not really in it, but you, and you don't wanna to get too far in it, don't worry, he doesn't expose any secrets, he doesn't give away methods or tricks in this, so you're not gonna learn, uh, you're not gonna learn any magic that would ruin it for you in, in the future. So uh, this is a, a fun book that tells you how magicians think. As far as the writing style goes, uh, like I said, all the chapters are really small. So I read this book in three days, four days. I read it pretty fast because I was doing like five, six, seven, eight chapters, more than that, uh, a night. So uh, it was super easy to read. And Joshua J isn't just a magician. He is also a writer. So he used to write uh, magazine articles even way back when, when he was only a teenager. So. He's had lots of experience writing. He's also written magic books. He's also helped edit magic books. So uh, his writing style is easy to read. He, he is definitely somebody who has a very easy voice. Sounds like he's right there in the room with you, just talking to you as a friend. And like I said, I picked mine up at Amazon. You can find this book wherever quality books are sold. And uh, yeah, that's my review. Let me know down below if you've read it. Okay, if you've read it and uh, you'd like to share your own two cents about the book, yeah, definitely tell us down below what you guys thought. But before I go, I wanna give you a sneak peek of what book I'm reviewing next. Boom! Notes from a fellow traveler, another celebrity magician, Darren Brown. Look how big this book is. Uh, I acted too slow. I saw the book was coming out. I saw that it was available in hardback. I didn't pull the trigger fast enough. And by the time I went to go buy it, only paperback was left, that's right. So if you were thinking about getting the hardback, uh, eBay might be your only choice, unless you're uh, super good friends with Darren Brown. Uh, so I'll be reading this. I'm gonna read this book, okay? I'm gonna read this book first before I review it. I'm not gonna give you a preview or it's just gonna read the ad copy. I'm gonna read this book for you and then tell you all about Darren Brown's secrets. Looking forward to that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, bye. Oh, hey, and one more thing. Sometimes you guys always comment on the shirt I am wearing. This is the diagonal palm shirt that is only available at mentalvoyage.com. It's 30 bucks, and uh, you can head on over there if you wanna get a shirt exactly like mine. Now you can show your superior understanding of what may be the most misunderstood move in all of card magic with this unique shirt. Because it just isn't a shirt, it's a testament to your expertise in the intricate realm of magic. Proudly display your mastery of the most enigmatic and elusive moves, a move that has perplexed the minds of many for ages. These shirts are screen printed onto Gildan soft style 100% cotton 
They're short sleeve shirts and they're available in black or gray. Head on over to mentalvoyage.com and get one for yourself.